Hey, it's nice to have you back here in this new video. Today we're gonna dive deep into the Drone 360 photography. This is my brand new DJI Mavic 3. And here it is. And it is a Mavic 3. Look at that. The Mavic 3 with a Micro Four Thirds camera as a main camera. And this is a hybrid optical system with a telezoom lens and a wide angle lens where the wide angle lens equipped with a Micro Four Thirds imaging sensor. And they all co-engineered with the Hasselblad. The reason why I purchased the DJI Mavic 3 mainly because it has a Micro Four Thirds imaging sensor, which I believe it is quite amazing for 360 panoramic photography. I have shot dozens of gigapixel panorama with my old fashioned the Panasonic GX1, which has a Micro Four Thirds camera. It's with, with a 14 millimeters pancake lens together with this Bushman sandbag panoramic head. I've been using the Bushman sandbag the panoramic head for quite a long time. Uh, although it's discontinued, but it doesn't matter. It is amazing design. It's a foldable design. It is, it's a vertical, it looks like that. Quite long period of time, this is my everyday shooting combo until I delve into the world of one shot 360 capture and establish my YouTube channel. So long before I've started this channel, I've been shooting 360 with my DSR, or at least with Micro Four Thirds camera. The Micro Four Thirds sensor on the DJI Mavic 3 is good enough for a high quality aerial 360 shot. Actually, I've been quite familiar with the DJI drone about Phantom 4, the Mavic Air 2, and the Mavic Air 2S. I've been flying all this drone for quite a long time, although I've been updating on my YouTube channel only on the One Shot 360, but actually, I long been exploring the real potential of drone 360 panorama with a brand new hardware and brand new the mavic 3 drone uh things gonna be much better and much more consistent and also in this video i'd like to share with you this free will brand new design the nd filter or date 8 pack specific for the mavic okay now i'd like to share with you some of my personal micro four thirds gigapixel panorama in capture with my gx1 and the Bushman sandbox during my past few years. If you look at the first one, the first shot has been captured with the GX1 that uh, you can see the sunset time, where this is uh, a, a great atmosphere uh, in, in the forest. And definitely check out the detail. The first time we went back in 2015 in Prague, in Prague, Czech Republic. So I really miss that moment. I, I do hope that I can travel abroad uh, in the coming next year to see all of you guys and to talk face to face. And back in the Korea, I have ever been to Korea to capture in the, the Gamchin village. That uh, here you can see this amazing shot. Also captured with the Micro Four Thirds camera. It looks like a real De Janeiro, right? And also I have been carrying my uh, Micro Four Thirds GX1 into several into Thailand. You know, this is in Sorin Island that uh, look at the detail in, in, in the sand, in the dark, the highlight shadows. So I think with the DJI Mavic 3, you could capture equivalent quality. Uh, this uh, captured something great back in, in Beijing around three years ago, that was the, the, my GX1 as well. So this was the autumn scenery, that I was trying to climb the, the mountain that, in the countryside, in the village, in the, in the countryside. This capture has some amazing the reflections, uh, the sunset, the sunrise. Uh, look at this, all this beautiful shot. I've been captured with the Micro Four Thirds camera and with the sandbox. Uh, yeah, this is where I have captured this shot back in the Austria, Austria around three years ago, where I attended my IVRP meeting and later enjoyed my, like, my trip in Austria. Look at this detail. And also I've been sh shooting the 360 shot. You know, in Budapest, uh, I've come across with a very talented Italian photographer, Pietro, Pietro Medaschi. Yeah, we've enjoyed the shooting the whole night. It's just like a 360 competition uh, years ago. Just like, look at that, look at the detail, right? And this one was also captured in the Fisherman, uh, Budapest the Fisherman. This is uh, the Church of Matisse. And uh, in the early morning, I captured this shot with my Michael Four Thirds camera. You know? 
It definitely reminds me of、um, a, a lot of amazing moment in my life. You know, with my this is a micro four thirds camera. So, how do you like this panorama capture with a micro four thirds camera? You can leave down in the comments and let me know. So, why the DJI Mavic Three is super helpful for the drone three hundred and sixty shooters? So, number one is about imaging quality, imaging sensor. The micro four thirds does provide huge potential up in the air,、uh, and if we lower down the aperture, we can increase imaging quality, a better overall detail. From corner to center. With the upcoming new firmware upgrade coming in the next January, the 2022. So this conventional the 360 shooting mode, that one click 360 shot. So that that function, that feature, will finally arrive on DJI Mavic 3. From my own perspective, I think the DJI launched the Mavic 3 just in a hurry because there are not there are a lot missing features such as the one click 360 shot. On the DJI Mavic Air 2 and the Mavic 2 Zoom, there are different ways to take. Panorama or even 360 shot. So number one is a one-click 360 photography. The drone will rotate、uh, along its axis and capture the whole 360 space、uh, with dozens of RAW plus DNG format. You know the camera could capture in RAW, and、uh, there are also a 180 degrees panorama view. You can capture a half of the space with a 180 field of view.、So、number three is to capture some vertical panorama. That is also Super helpful for 360 content creations. If there is a super wide-angle shooting mode that can capture nine different shots and automatically merge into a super wide-angle linear rectilinear lens, rectilinear view. So, judging from my own experience, that is the four basic panoramic shooting mode that built inside this Phantom and Mavic drone. For 360 content creator, you can definitely check out this one-click 360 shot on your Mavic Air 2. Mavic Air 2s or even earlier models, but for the Mavic 3, we do have to wait until the DJI finally added features to this drone. You know, for the hardcore 360 content creator like me, you know, I can always shoot manually with all the manual settings. The have manual exposure, RAW plus JPEG. I even shot with the burst capture, burst and stack in in post. You know, so if you do want to have a simplified workflow, you can wait for the. Generate firmware upgrade. Second, considering the Mavic 3 has a tele zoom lens that has、uh, around equivalent focal length of 150 millimeters, so maybe you can take some、uh, gigapixel panorama with the drone as well. But what it's a pity that the DJI Mavic 3 doesn't have a raw DNG format on this half inch sensor of the tele zoom lens. So for the DJI Mavic 3, you know there is a built-in tripod mode. I don't know if you have ever explored this tripod mode. When the DJI Mavic drone has entered the the tripod mode, it will stay up in the air, really stable. You can even capture long spur shot with the DJI Mavic drone. As far judging from my experience with the help of with the with the DJI Mavic Air 2, I can capture up to eight second long spur shot up in the air. And for the Phantom 4 Pro 2.0, considering it has a much powerful propellers,、uh, my upper limit. Is four second, so you are most likely to succeed in a four second long spur shot up in the air. So that will give the that will help us capture some amazing night lapse, night 360 shot with the drone as well. And that is where you can try to shot the Mavic 3 with full manual mode, because one shot click, the drone just move way too fast. Especially when you want captures in low line situation. You have to control your drone in full manual control. So that is where you can try this、uh, ND filter bundle set designed by.、F、and later in the video, I will share with you the in-depth tutorial on this free will the Mavic 3 ND filter. For the DJI Phantom 4, there's、uh, mechanical shutter and electrical shutter at the same time. So if you want to place your drone up in the air for the super steady、uh, situation,、uh, definitely you should. Choose the electrical shutter instead of mechanical shutter because the mechanical shutter will add a little bit of vibration to the drone. That sometimes when there is a windy condition,、uh, you probably get a blurry photo in your SD card. You know what drives me crazy about the DJI Mavic Drone 360 panorama is that I'm come across with a lot of talented 360 photographer all around the world, especially this this guy from Iceland. It's Oliver Haratson. I will put his website down in the video, so you can definitely check out some of his amazing panorama. Especially when you capture some lava panorama with the previous 
the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. So Oliver Horizon, this amazing, talented, restrictive talker and his masterpieces finally helped me to make up my mind and purchase my own DJI Mavic 3. Okay, now we are uh, in the oliha.com. Uh, in these panoramic galleries, we can see a lot of amazing 360 panorama. Uh, but most of the shootings was accomplished with the DJI Mavic drone. This lava flow, L look at this amazing quality. I, I think it's just unbelievable to capture such amazing quality with the drone, you know? I think the drone will easily got melt in the lava because it's really high temperature and look at the detail. If you zoom in super close, you could definitely check out this amazing detail. Lava River. So his lava series really make me want want to cry. You know, it's just so beautiful, and and it's this lava panorama just blows my mind away. I should definitely check out this amazing 360 panoramas. I don't know. I, I've never imagined that a drone could capture something like that. You know. And that is the, and that is a key idea that the DJI has designed this portable, the portable drone, like a Mavic, a foldable design, and it can fit in your backpack. And some of the amazing panorama, wow, the night time at the volcano. So this is a low light shooting example, and also in a super hot temperature. This is a lava river. The capture in the September 2021 with the Mavic 2, with the drone Mavic 2. And this is quite amazing. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> it's, it's, it blows my mind away. Look at the detail. How is that possible? You know, how, how is that possible with a drone? It's a drone in my hand. How is that possible? I can't even understand, you know? So just imagine what we can capture with a micro four thirds camera of the DJI Mavic 3. That is the reason why I did finally decided to purchase this the Mavic 3 drone. This one is a nighttime at the volcano. Was captured was shot in April 2021. Also with the DJI Mavic 2 zoom. Look at the quality, I know. How is that possible? Just look at that. So I, I just can't imagine what we can create with the Micro Four Thirds imaging sensor. Because this one was captured with a one-inch sensor, only with a one-inch sensor. And this one, sunset and the moonrise. Sunset and the moonrise. So there's the sunset. And on the other side, we should see the moonrise. And look at the ice in the lake. And look at the detail, you know, look at the detail. I was totally blown out. And look at this amazing detail. This one was shot in the November 2021. I, I think this one was captured with the DJI Mavic 3 Cine and has a, the same sensor with the DJI Mavic 3. And the Mavic Cine, Mavic 3 Cine, comes with the ND filter bundle set and uh, the Apple ProRes the video format. But if you are uh, use that for photography, I think it doesn't matter. I think the DJI Mavic 3 is uh, even a better choice. Look at that. Wow. It's it's just awesome. <laughs> I know, I mean, it's just awesome. I, I've never think about that the drone could capture 360 panorama like this. Look at this volcano sky on fire. And this. So, what do you think about this? All this amazing 360 panorama capture with the drone. Sometimes I think it's unbelievable, you know? It's unbelievable. But it just happened. And a talented photographer in the world have made it. Okay, now let's take a closer look at this Freewheel All Day 8 Pack ND Filter Bundle Set designed specific for the Mavic 3. All Day 8 Pack filter bundle set for the Mavic 3. That consists of the ND4, ND8, ND16, ND32, ND64 all come with a polarized filter in the front and a standalone circular polarized filter ND1000, ND2000. What I love about this all day 8 pack designed by Freewheel is that uh, you can buy none of them 
on the DJI official website, which means that is to say the DJI don't provide any one of the options that is included in the R-Day 8 pack. And more importantly, the R-Day 8 pack, the price of the R-Day 8 pack is even cheaper compared with the, the DJI official ND filter bundle, which only has four different ND choices, two standalone plastic boxes. One, every one of them has four filter bundle sets. ND4, ND8, ND16, ND13 2. The NDR comes with a polarized filter, which you can see it not only stops the light by, by the ND filter, but also has a polarizing filter you can rotate on the front. So it's a hyper ND filter and is it more powerful with more features compared with the DJI official design. And in this package, we do have the ND64 with a polarized filter, which is a very high neutral density filter hybrid filter and it's an ND1000 and ND2000 so these two filter designed for the photography purposes. Here is a protection lens on front of this hybrid optical system which has uh, you can rotate in the counterclockwise and later you can remove the protection lens outside the frame. And if you will take a closer look at you, it has, uh, it has a, a locking mechanism just like that. Align with the shape in this orientation and slowly rotate in clockwise, and you heard this clicking sound. And with ND16, not only you can lower down the, the, the light, you can stop the light by four stops, but you can also have one more choice with a polarized filter. By eliminating all these reflections, you will have more detail in the highlight at the same time uh, with a better saturation and vibrance in your final video and photo. I did the free will design ND1000 and ND2000. So I do have some bonus tips and tricks for you if you use your DJI Mavic 3 for photography purposes. Thinking you can put this drone directly on the table on some flat surfaces and use it as an ordinary micro four thirds camera to capture some time lapse in raw DNG format or whatever you want. And another clever use case for the ND1000 filter is to shoot some long spur shot up in the air. As judging by from my own experience, with my Mavic 2 Air and with my Phantom 4 Pro 2.0 with all this drone with a very powerful propellers when they hover on the ground and you can set the drone into tripod mode and disable the mechanical shutter just use the electrical shutter you can capture at least with 4 second long spur shot up in the air and you should probably get crystal sharp and clear images. That is a brief recap on this all day 8 pack, the ND filter bundle set designed by Freewell, specific for this Mavic 3, a hybrid optical system. And that is all for this video. And this is just episode one of my future drone 360 panoramic section. With the help of the DJI Mavic 3 and with the Micro Four Thirds imaging sensor up in the air, high quality 360 area shot for everyone that has arrived. And I just can't wait to share with you more about the more techniques, workflow, and, and also some very interesting shooting style with the drone 360 shot. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to sum up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Stay safe. Until next time. Bye.